Hey, welcome back to No Hype Bear Review. Very excited for today's beer as I usually am. Uh, this comes from Chris from Work From Home. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Uh, he knew I had enjoyed this year's No Rules, and he actually found this uh, on the shelf somewhere. He uh, took a picture, if I remember correctly. He's like, let me send you one. I was like, yes, please. So he grabbed one. He put a big box together. I did an unboxing video, and I've been drinking a lot of what he sent. I'm almost done, actually, I think. And... Uh, uh, some hops, some uh, barrel aged stuff. Just anyway, crazy excited. So much thank you, thank you, thank you. Going to Chris. Um, so Tyler had sent me uh, the, like I said, the 2018 No Rules, the regular, and also the Scotch Barrel variant. This is a bourbon barrel aged beer, and um, uh, it was awesome. The, the the regular one blew my mind. It was so good. I've had it at shares. It was awesome to have a proper full bottle, do a proper review, and. Um, uh, it has sugar in it, so like it's sweet. It's this imperial porter. Uh, it drinks relatively big for a porter, you know. Uh, it's 15% ABV. It has a coconut in it. Uh, it tasted like a Mounds bar. So good, right? So this is the 2016, if I didn't say that already. Uh, you can tell because of the purple uh, bowling ball, Big Lebowski reference. And um, uh, part of this money actually goes to help Marine veterans, so that's really cool, uh, helping uh, ex-Marines, so appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, so really excited to see what two years does on a beer like this. Um, I don't know when I've had it at shares if it was aged. Uh, we're talking one or two ounces anyway. I just remember liking it. So really excited to do a proper review of a two-year-old no rules. Very excited. <laughs> All right. I'm using a stout glass. It says we've been to the stout. So don't tell anyone that this is only an imperial porter. All right. So I did just watch my no rules review. Uh, trying to have some of that stuff fresh my mind. And uh, that one, I think I had two fingers. I had this one. It's almost exactly one. Um, it was more like dark cola. Uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of brown on the edges. So it's not motor oil. You know, and, and what I said in that review, and something I still am thinking with this, is like the Imperial Stout versus uh, an Imperial, I'm sorry, an Imperial Porter versus a Stout uh, versus an Imperial Stout versus a Russian Imperial Stout. Like we have a 15% Imperial Porter. Like to me, typically a Porter is like a lesser version of a Stout. I think that's kind of how it's shaken out. And I know there's debate on this. So it's kind of like surprising. Like, wow, 15 ounce or a 15 uh, ABV uh, Imperial Porter, you know, but uh, it drinks big. It drinks big. Or at least that one did. Hoping this one does too. Enough rambling. <laughs> Get it what it looks like. Uh, do the aroma. First thing I get hit with actually is vanilla um, from the barrel for sure. You get that nice sweetness with that sugar, especially with that sugar added. Uh, obviously, it has a lot of malt to get the ABV up that high, but that uh, additional sugar. Um, I do get some of the barrel and some of the spirit specifically. Uh, in terms of coconut, it's actually kind of buried, which surprises me. I would even put like the, the chocolate aroma above the coconut. And as an adjunct, I actually don't know enough about coconut. Uh, if that fades relatively quickly, like coffee, typically, you know, people say, and I've experienced it to some degree, uh, that it fades quickly. Yeah, so maybe the coconut in this will, I don't know about the taste, but in terms of the aroma, it definitely seems muted there. But everything else, bursting, awesome aroma. Same thing I said with the fresh new rules. The aroma is amazing. Yeah, this is no exception. It does have that mound bar, just more the chocolate, just like the sweetness. And like, like I said, that added level of vanilla over the coconut. But it smells good. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. A couple of people have busted my chops at this point, like when my eyes roll <laughs> into the back of my head. Wow. That ages nicely. Holy crap. The coconut isn't as muted as in the, yeah, well, yeah, it's not as muted as the, uh, in the taste as it is in the aroma. But it's not, it's definitely not the star of this show. It's still a nice sweet beer, very desserty, but the age has mellowed that sweetness. There's a nice level of the alcohol dryness fighting that sweetness is really interesting. It makes for a very pleasant experience. It's not like, it's not contradictory. It's actually weirdly complementing each other. Yeah, 
huge sweet chocolate, caramel. This is something I said in the, uh, the 2018 one. Uh, you get like that caramel, almost like a caramel latte. It's not straight coffee, but when you add, not that this has lactose or anything in it, but when you add milk and sugar, maybe some flavor, right? So you add that vanilla, some caramel, you really get that. There is a level of coconut there. Again, it's it's muted, not as much as the aroma. I'm repeating myself. You do get some dark chocolate in the finish, but the chocolate really is a very sweet milk chocolate. It's decadent. This beer is is so much a dessert beer, but it's definitely less sweet than the 2018. So some of that has gone away. So if you have, for example, if you have a bottle of the 2018, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't really have a sweet tooth. Age it. Just keep aging it for as long as you can. See, that one I got a hair more of the roastiness coming through that latte taste. Still there, but more of that coffee roast, dark chocolate, but still a huge level of sweet chocolate, milk chocolate. This age is great. Like, this this is, <laughs> without a doubt, an amazing beer to age. Uh, thank you so much again, Chris. I really appreciate this opportunity. This beer is freaking phenomenal. Um, thanks, Tyler, for sending my first bottle of it. Um which let Chris know that I like this beer. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Untapped. Just no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.